We're all set. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the special town meeting of April 20th, 2016. Uh, call this meeting to order. I'm Eugene Cushman. I'm the town meeting moderator. And Mr. Stevens, if you could lead us in the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Thank you. As usual, we'll go over the ground rules. Under Connecticut General Statute 7-6, you must be an elector of the town or 18 years of age and a U.S. citizen owning property, taxable property, on the grand list of 10-115 of $1,000 or more. <coughs> Under Connecticut General Statute 9-360, any person not qualified to vote but does vote may be subject to a fine of not less than $300, no more than $500, in prison for not less than one year, no more than two years, disenfranchised, or all of the above. Um, in the event we need a teller and checker, I point the registrars to, to uh, be tellers and checkers. If you wish to speak at this meeting, please come up to the podium and give your name and address for the record. Uh, if you wish to speak but you're not qualified to vote, you please make that fact known before you make your remarks. Please do not conduct any dialogue amongst yourselves. Direct all questions or remarks through the moderator. Um, we have two items on the agenda. We'll take them in order, and uh, we'll get right to it. So, uh, Madam uh, Town Clerk, if you could read the call, please. Notice is hereby given of a special town meeting to be held on Wednesday, April 20th, 2016 at the East Lime Town Hall Upper Meeting Room at 7 p.m. to consider and take action on the following. One, special appropriation of $54,984.37 to revenue account 0104-400-406 from FEMA Storm Grant to purchase a 2014 Volvo Mini Excavator. Two, appropriate appropriate and transfer up to $16,005 from CNRE Fund 32, account 3270-300-500-999 for fire services assessment by JLN Associates. Dated at East Lime, Connecticut, this 12th day of April, 2016, Signed. The call was signed by the Board of Selectmen. It was posted on the signpost. It was published in the day, and it was filed in my office. Thank you, Madam Town Clerk. Uh, we'll get right to the first item. Uh, the moderator will entertain a resolution to uh, approve a special appropriation of fifty-four thousand nine hundred eighty-four dollars and thirty-seven cents to revenue account zero one zero four four hundred four zero six from FEMA Storm Grant to purchase a 2014 Volvo Mini Excavator. Do I hear a resolution? Mr. Stevens, do I hear a second? Second. Mr. Cheeseman. Okay, uh, is there any discussion? Mr. First Selectman? Before I introduce Joe Bergar, Public Works Director, who will give you f uh, details on this item, I'd just like to say it's, uh, it's something sorely needed. We've, we've rented one in the past. We have rented this particular one. Uh, for several months at the end of last year, the uh, FEMA Opportunity Storm Grant, uh, FEMA Storm Grant gives us a great opportunity to buy this, uh, utilizing FEMA funds, not dipping into capital expenses or operating expenses. This will be used by three different departments in town, Water and Sewer, Public Works, and Parks and Rec. Uh, Joe Bergal will give uh, any details that might be necessary. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Bergal. Mr. Bergal. Joe Bergaud, Director of Public Works, also 19 Adelaide Avenue. Um, just last winter, uh, in last January, it, it's easy to forget now because it's nice and warm out, but there was a blizzard, 28 inches of snow, and in that period of time between the Public Works, uh, sewer, water, parks and rec, we responded to that blizzard and, and, and um, you know, fought that snowstorm. Um, that was declared a federal emergency, so we were eligible for FEMA funds. The town was eligible for 134,000 
$800 worth of reimbursement of uh, FEMA reimbursed 75%, so it's $101,000. And but we paid for everything in the storm out of last year's money, 50, uh, last fiscal year. Uh, so we didn't go over budget, didn't ask for extra money, even though our budgets were getting slammed. And now we're getting now the town is getting reimbursed this money. Coincidentally, those three departments, as Mr. Nickerson said, are in dire need of getting a mini excavator to help you know, share in the different departments as far as um, the efficiency of our work. So this is an opportunity that we look at for the town to have three departments share one piece of equipment from funding that's coming from FEMA that was reimbursed to the town for something we already paid for last year out of our budget because we didn't go over. So um, it seems to be a win-win for the town that they can have our town forces do work at a much cheaper rate than have to contract the work out, get this piece of equipment. It's a t uh, 2014 Volvo excavator. Um, Mr. Holyfield, our highway superintendent, priced around and looked at the best pricing. We, got to, we looked at this piece of equipment, and we did rent it last, the same piece of equipment last fall, and the amount that we rented for the, co the vendor is taking off the amount of the purchase. So if you put all that together, the, uh, the price of the mini excavator um, was $57,210. The portionment of the money that was reimbursed to FEMA to wa the water department, because that's obviously separate from the town, the Water and Sewer Commission actually uh, voted to authorize that money, which was $2,225.63, um, $2, leaving us uh, tonight we're looking for $54,984.37 of that $100,000 to purchase this piece of equipment. Thank you, Mr. Burrow. Would anyone else like to uh, make any comments? Seeing no hands, then we'll move directly to the question. All those in favor of appropriating a special appropriation of $54,984.37 to revenue account 0104-400-406 from the FEMA storm grant to purchase a 2014 Volvo mini excavator, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed by saying nay. The ayes have it. The resolution carries. The next item on the agenda is an appropriate to appropriate and to transfer up to $16,005 from CNRE Fund 32, Account 32, 7300 for the Fire Service Assessment of JLN Associates. Do I hear a resolution? So moved. Second. Mr. Cheeseman. Kevin. Uh, any discussion? Mr. First Selectman. Yes, thanks again, Mr. Moderator. I, I'm very excited about this. Um, I, I'm not sure if a fire study was ever done in this town. Uh, if so, it's been a long, long time. We have um, a fire, two fire organizations in this town that uh, serve our town with pride and they do it very, very efficiently and effectively and professionally. But we need an independent fire um, study uh, an independent eye to come in, take a look at the equipment we have, the, how we organize our personnel, how there's two different departments that sometimes share, sometimes don't, depending on what, how they're set up. They have two different relationships with their volunteers. Uh, to come in independently and look at everything we have in this town, what is needed in this town, what isn't needed, and, um, and come up with an independent study that we can take the next 10, 20 years and base our decisions on the fire department uh, based on that independent study. Uh, it's, it's needed. I, I will note this organization is, is actually local. They're an old line. We went out to bid um, an RF, uh, RFP on this and um, received four bids, the local one. They're an old line. The principal is um, uh, John Nickerson. There is no relation. And I wanted to put that out there on the record because uh, John's going to do some work in this town, and uh, you know it's not that familiar a name. So I want to put that. They're going to be um, the scope of work is immense, and it's very well documented. I've looked at his work; he comes very well recommended. And this is what they do. They go around the country, uh, looking at fire departments, fire needs, taking a look at the equipment. And we often have these questions about: you know, Do we need to buy this ladder truck, or don't we? And if it is a slatter truck, does it need a pumper or doesn't it? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This will give us the answers to that going forward, and that will, uh, that will serve this town well. The bid came in at $15,995 under the 1605 number. 
Thank you, Mr. First Selectman. Would anyone else like to be heard on this uh, matter? Seeing no hands, and we'll move the question. Uh, all those in favor of appropriate and transfer of up to $16,005 from CNRE Fund 32, account 3270-300-500-999 for the fire service assessment by JLN Associates. Please signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed by saying nay. The ayes have it. The resolution carries. There being no other uh, items on the agenda, uh, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. No Ms. Cheeseman. Mr. Stevens. All those in favor of adjourning, please signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed by nay. The ayes have it. The meeting is adjourned. Not quite a record.